Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 58 in my Sudoku problem series. This is a Renban problem sent in by Wu Chen Lin. Um, as I said, Wu Chen has sent in a whole bunch of different puzzles, and I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'm looking forward to working through them all, but I don't want to just drop them all in a row. Though, who knows, I may get to that. Um, so, um, the um, goal with this one is not to place digits where they're X's, it's to find out where all the fives go in boxes one to six. So, um, yeah, the way um, these is a Renban problem, as I said. So the way Renban work is all of the um, purple lines have to contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order, and you must place all of those fives. So um, there's a link below to where you can try this. I'm going to leave it for a few seconds, and then I will come back to explain how this one works. Okay, so this one involves knowing a little bit about Renbans and then doing some geometry. So um, if you think about a Renban, and all of these are five cell long Renbans, um, any five cell long Renban line must have a five on it. Because if you start with a one and go up, one, two, three, four, five, you get a five on the line because it must be a run of consecutive digits. If you start with a nine and go down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you will end up with a five on the line. And anywhere in the middle, if you start with two, two, three, four, five, six, you end up with a five. Any Anyway, that if you put a run of one to nine, if you grab any five consecutive digits, you will get a five. So any five length Renban line must contain a five. So the goal here is to figure out how do these provide pressure on each other? Well, you can start right here. This is a five cell long Renban line, so it must contain a five. However, this is a five cell long um, Renban line and must contain a five, but you can't put it here or you couldn't put a five on this line. So this becomes a five, which knocks fives out of knocks five, the fives out of those. Now, this is also a five cell long Renban line, but this five sees all of those four cells. So this becomes a five. This five sees on this five cell long Renban line, those two in the column and those two in the box. So this becomes a five, which knocks out this five. Now on this five cell long Renban line, this five sees all of those, this five sees that one. So this becomes a five. Now those three cells and that one are seen on this five cell long Renban line. So that becomes the five. This can't be the five and this becomes the five. And that's the solution to the problem. It's just some fairly simple geometry understanding that fives have to go on a five cell long ran band line. I really like this one because when you look at it at first, it's like I've got no information to go on, but you can place all of those fives just using some simple tricks. Really cool to understand if you're wanting to do some more advanced ran band stuff. Very nice trick. So thank you, uh, Wuten, for sending that one through. I hope everyone's enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.